Hi, welcome to this two-factor top tens video. The man-made world is not only a wide place, but it's also a surprisingly tall one. What is generally considered to be the world's first skyscraper, the Home Insurance Building, was erected in Chicago between 1884 and 1885. This so-called father of the skyscraper had 10 stories and rose to a height of 42 meters or 138 feet. Since then, the concept of the skyscraper has spread all around the globe, with the Burj Khalifa in Dubai being the tallest of them all as of February 2020 at a stunning 828 meters or 2,717 feet. In today's video, we'll be examining the soaring high rises from Tunis to Cape Town. You're watching, two factor You're watching Two Factor Top 10s. We're going to look at the 10 tallest buildings in Africa. Note that this list does not contain non-building structures, such as chimneys and guide masts. Number 10. Pearl Dawn. This futuristic 31-story skyscraper is situated in the coastal resort town of Mshlanga, South Africa. It was completed in 2008 to a height of 152 meters or 499 feet, making it the fifth tallest building in South Africa. Designed by Decedit and Decedit Architects, an architectural firm based in the city of Durban just to the south of Mshlanga, Pearl Dawn is part of a greater Mshlanga tourism development project. More specifically, the Pearls of Mshlanga building complex primarily consists of luxury self-catering apartments. While Mshlanga has a population of approximately 25,000 people, the town had a staggering 1.2 million visitors in 2015, many of whom must have marveled at this stunning piece of residential architecture. Number 9. Marble Towers Marble Towers whose name stems from the mixture of marble and concrete used in its construction, is situated in the central business district of Johannesburg, South Africa. With its 32 stories that were completed in 1973, Marble Towers stands at a height of 152.1 meters or 499 feet, beating the Pearl Dawn by approximately 10 centimeters it's like the Marble Towers architects used time travel to retroactively make their building a tiny bit taller just to be petty or something. Yeah, thanks, Nora. No problem. Originally known as Sanlam Centrum, named after the previous owner Sanlam Group, Marble Towers contains commercial offices and has an 8-story parking garage attached to it. Number 8. PSPF Commercial Twin Towers Offering a spectacular view of the Indian Ocean, the PSPF Towers are located in the business district of Dar es Salaam, the largest city and de facto capital of Tanzania. These 35-story towers, which are 153 meters or 502 feet tall, were completed in 2014 and mainly host commercial offices for the Public Service Pensions Fund. Their bottom and mezzanine floors are, however, reserved for businesses, such as cafes, restaurants, and banks. Wait, but there are two of them. Shouldn't they be numbered 8 and 7 separately? Hmm. Well, they are both 153 meters tall. Since 153 is a natural number, and two natural numbers of the same magnitude are equal, then, uh, clearly they get the same spot on the list. Oh, okay. Wait, what about marble towers? No, that's just one. Number 7. Tanzania Ports Authority Headquarters. Right across the street from the PSPF Towers in Dar es Salaam, we find the Tanzania Ports Authority Headquarters with its 40 stories and its slightly more impressive height of 157 meters or 515 feet. This makes it the tallest building in Tanzania. Unsurprisingly, this concrete building serves as the head office for the Tanzania Ports Authority or TPA, 
which manages and operates the ocean and lake ports of Tanzania. The construction of this piece of modern architecture, abstracted from the view of a ship approaching the dock, began in 2012 and was finished in 2016. Its original plans involved a rotating restaurant at the top floor, offering a panoramic view of Dar es Salaam and the ocean. Although it is unclear if this restaurant is currently open to visitors, or if it has been repurposed to host various clandestine government projects. Admittedly, either one sounds pretty intriguing. Number 6. Nikum House. Our next entry brings us to the city of Lagos, Nigeria, a major financial center in Africa, whose population rose from 1.4 million in 1970 to an estimated 21 million in 2015. Standing at one... Uh, that looks pretty heavy, bro. Anyway, standing at 160 meters, or 525 feet, the Nikum House has remained the tallest building in West Africa since its completion in 1979. Originally called the Net Building, and later Nital Tower, this third two-story concrete skyscraper houses the headquarters of Entel. Entel, or more specifically, its predecessor, Nitel, was a telephone service provider that retained a monopoly in Nigeria until 1992, when new entrants were allowed into the telecommunications sector. The prominent communications tower on the roof of Nikum House also acts as a lighthouse for Lagos Harbor. Drawn by Nixon, Boris and partners, the Nikum House suffered a major fire in 1983 that damaged a large part of the building and a smaller fire in 2015, which only affected the top of the building. So, if you ever visit Lagos, be sure to get a breathtaking view of the city and Lagos Lagoon from Nikum House's 32nd floor. Just try not to get trapped in a major fire. Number 5. UAP Old Mutual Tower In the capital of Kenya, namely Nairobi, we find the UAP Old Mutual Tower. Completed in 2015, this third three-story concrete skyscraper is lavished with office spaces and stands at 163 meters or 535 feet. This made it the tallest building in East Africa until it lost its spot to another Kenyan skyscraper only two years later. Yeah, rip. UAP Old Mutual Tower houses the headquarters of the UAP Old Mutual Group, a financial services conglomerate with subsidiaries in Rwanda, South Sudan, Tanzania, Uganda, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Despite the tower's prestige, and even though it's located only one kilometer from the city center in Nairobi, UAP Old Mutual had only achieved a 35% occupancy for their tower a year after it was opened. Consequently, its owners were forced to slash rents to attract tenants, which has, among other improvements, such as giving their offices superior finishes, led to an 87% occupancy as of 2019. Number 4. Ponte City Not far from our number one entry on this list, this cylindrical residential skyscraper rises from the streets of Berea in Johannesburg, South Africa to an impressive height of 173 meters, or 568 feet. This makes it the tallest apartment building in Africa, and it also serves as the literal pillar of support of the largest sign in the Southern Hemisphere. Along the central axis of Ponte City runs an empty shaft known as the Core, allowing light to reach its apartments through windows on both sides. This hollowed-out cylindrical architecture was the result of Johannesburg bylaws when Ponte City was designed in 1973, which required kitchens and bathrooms to have windows. After the completion of its 54 stories in 1975, Ponte City, also known as Ponte City Apartments, or Ponte Tower, was regarded as an extremely desirable address. Unfortunately, during the late 1980s, gang activity led to a significant increase in crime in and around the tower. 
Eventually, this resulted in several gangs moving into the building in the 1990s, rendering it very unsafe. The core was gradually filled with garbage five stories high, and the owners left their once magnificent edifice to decay. Subsequently, Ponte City became symbolic of the crime and urban decay in the once cosmopolitan Berea neighborhood. Spectacular proposals to turn the structure into a high-rise prison were offered in the mid-1990s, but various improvements to the building's situation were made in the 2000s after a change of ownership. Ponte City can be seen in several popular movies from the 2000s, including District 9 and Resident Evil, the final chapter. Number 3. Britain Tower At 200.1 meters, or 656 feet, Britain Tower is the tallest building in Kenya. Completed in 2017, after four years of construction, this commercial building has 32 stories and is formed in a unique prismatic shape. On its roof is a 60 meter, or 197 feet mast, which contains three helical wind turbines. The tower is the international headquarters of Britain Holdings Limited, an investment holding company that offers insurance, banking, and other financial services in the African Great Lakes region. In total, the building has 32,500 square meters, or 350,000 square feet, of letable office space. Number 2. Carlton Center. Our runner-up is a 50-story skyscraper, which, at 223 meters, or 730 feet, makes it the tallest office building in Africa. Located in downtown Johannesburg, South Africa, the Carlton Center was designed by the US architectural firm Skidmore, Owings & Merrill, and was completed in 1974, after seven years of excavation and construction. Its 50th floor is colloquially known as the Top of Africa, and rightfully so. Well, at least until it lost the number one spot as the tallest building in Africa in 2019, after a staggering 45 years. The Carlton Center houses both offices and shops, and serves as headquarters for the state-owned rail, port and pipeline company, Transnet. Furthermore, the Carlton Center is connected to a below-ground shopping center with over 180 shops. In turn, this shopping center links said skyscraper to the historical five-star Carlton Hotel, which has hosted many celebrities throughout the years, including Queen Elizabeth, Hillary Clinton, Mick Jagger, and Whitney Houston. Due to the decay of the central business district in Johannesburg in the late 80s and 90s, and the connected increase in crime in the city during this period, the Carlton Hotel was, unfortunately, closed in 1998. Thus, like its neighboring Ponte City, the Carlton Center suffered from the 90s crime wave in Johannesburg, which prompted the relocation of many of its white-collar workers. Number 1. The Leonardo Around 11 kilometers or 7 miles north of the Carlton Center lies the city of Santon, which is part of the Johannesburg municipality. Santon is an affluent financial and business center, which attracted many of the office dwellers from the Johannesburg Central Business District in the 1990s. Perhaps unsurprisingly, this bustling hub of financial activity is the home of the Leonardo, the tallest no, not that one, Nora. Better, but no. Sorry. The tallest building in Africa, at 234 meters, or 770 feet. This monumental building, which is located approximately 100 meters from the Johannesburg Stock Exchange, was originally intended only to have 33 stories of high-end shops, offices, and apartments. Well, when the building was completed in April of 2019, that had turned into a total of 55 floors that support, among other things, restaurants, swimming pools, 
an herb garden, and even a Montessori preschool. So at this point, you might be wondering, how does the Leonardo compare to the tallest buildings on other continents? Well, at least it doesn't come last. Anyway, there you go. The 10 tallest buildings in Africa. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Or if you hated it, yet made it this far for whatever reason, there's always the thumbs down button, waiting for your spiteful click. Also, go ahead and hit us up on social media, links are in the description. Have a nice day.